my name is Raffaello Leschiera, Solution Architect of Engineering, Engineering Informatica, an Italian IT company. And I will introduce you a reference architecture about home caring, healthcare home caring, and a reference implementation using WSO2 technology. Okay. So let's start to focus on the problem, which is the problem of healthcare home caring. Healthcare home caring is a supportive care given to uh, a patient directly at home uh, by a, a certain number of stakeholders um, to avoid unnecessary or long-term hospitalization. Basically, uh, these are our uh, stakeholders. The first stakeholder, the most important stakeholder, is obviously the patient. Let's call him Felix. Felix is at home with his family who take care of him. And around Felix, a certain number of stakeholders run around them in order to perform their task. Their task is to improve uh, Felix healthcare. We have uh, medical staff from the hospital. We have the family doctor and the staff. We have uh, the caregivers, the group of caregivers uh, acting directly at Felix home in order to uh, make some task and uh, the home caring call center uh, collecting uh, uh, needs from uh, Felix and his family and redirecting them to the right organization in order to solve the problem. Which are the main requirements? What this stakeholder needs to do in order to improve uh, Felix health? Basically, we have, uh, they need to interact with uh, Felix and his family uh, they need uh, the, the, the possibility to get information about the health uh, from directly from medical devices at Felix home and analyzing those data in order to verify if everything is okay or something is going wrong or uh, it's, it's going to, to, to have a problem. So they need this information in order to uh, get job done as soon as possible. We are treating uh, human life. Uh, from the integration point of view, we obviously integrate, as I said before, medical devices to collect information about uh, Felix Health. We need to uh, share information for all the medical staff uh, involved in uh, uh, health uh, of, uh, of our patient. And we have to integrate all the IT system used by these uh, doctors, so healthcare information system, electronic medical records, and so on. Obviously, all these activities regarding the health of a patient must be uh, completely uh, subjected to security and privacy and all the regulations applied on the country we are uh, using our application. Which are the interfaces that our system, we, I put the system in the center of, of the environment, uh, what are the interfaces that our system has to provide to the uh, several stakeholders uh, we are uh, going to, to get, that are going to use our system? Basically, we said uh, medical devices to collect information and analyze information, share this information with IT systems. We have to provide um, web interfaces, mobile interfaces, uh, notification channels. We have to provide uh, medical devices for um, uh, mobile uh, um, access. We have to provide phone uh, in devices in order to uh, make the communication by voice more simpler. As you can see, it's really, really a, a complex architecture, a complex challenge to address. The reference architecture that we picture, that we design at the end of our journey, basically start from medical devices. Uh, they collect information from um, uh, in different ways, standard protocols like IEEE BU specification series, or custom interfaces. I, I put there a, a serial line interface just to uh, identify custom interfaces. Uh, many medical devices has to be mediated using Arduino and Raspberry Pi uh, cards. Once we have these interfaces up, 
what we can do is collect this information through a device gateway pattern and move them at the starting point of our system. So we collect this data and store data, normalize data so we can uh, correlate them. Uh, we we um, make all the action in order to have the same representation uh, regardless of which is the device that produced this information. Once the information are in our system, what we have to do is integrate this information with the uh, IT systems. So we have a, a data integration channels using a standard protocol. HL7 is a standard protocol for healthcare uh, world uh, in order to give this information to the medical staff. At the same time, the same information has to be analyzed inside our system in order to verify if everything's okay or something is going wrong. So we have uh, the, the need to analyze those data, uh, processing events, and send notification using communication channels. All the, f the, the um, features of our system can be accessed by medical staff using an HTML5 uh, web interface, a mobile interface, and through a, a, an AP gateway, um, something that is uh, decoupling our features with respect to the uh, user interfaces. Uh, they can access the information uh, managed by the home care manager and they can connect directly Felix Home using the home integration channels. So we have a direct channel uh, to the device gateway and uh, to Felix Home. Obviously, all these activities has to be synchronized and controlled by an identity and access management that ca take care of all the security and um, privacy aspects. Now, relax yourself. We have finished the boring part of our presentation. We can enjoy now with WSO2. Okay. Uh, once we have uh, a reference architecture, the next step to do is going to a reference implementation. So taking this picture that is very, very formal and giving an implementation using a technology. We choose WSO2. Why we choose WSO2? Basically, you know, because it's uh, very, very wide in technology coverage. So you can find the right answer to a great part of your, of your question. Because all these uh, products are strictly integrated with each other, so it's uh, easy for you to set up a, a strong uh, architecture and you can focus on uh, your domain problem, not on technology problem. Because uh, many um, features of WSO2 are uh, strategic features for our solution. For example, device integration, data analysis, and enterprise integration is a big integration challenge, and, as you can see. And it is completely open source. We work with public administration, so it's easier for us to convince them to adopt the solution if the solution is completely open source. Okay? So these are... The main reasons that we choose WSO2 as a technology for a reference implementation. But how uh, we do that? Um, as my presenter said before, we have to look at uh, using a different perspective to the problem. Okay? So, what we are doing to do now, I will introduce in our journey, is using a, a particular approach I normally use in these cases. Okay? Um, this approach is called football team approach. Okay, so you like football? Raise your hand if you like football. Mm. Quite enough time. If you don't like football, rugby, cricket, it's the same. Okay, you, you have only to adapt the concept. Which is the, the, basically the, uh, the team approach? The team approach is you are a coach of a, of a team. You have to prepare a, a, a match, okay? So what you normally do is watching your team, each one, each member of your team, looking at it, his characteristic, his plus, his uh, uh, way of play, and decide if it's the right answer for your, for your match, okay? So having this approach, this is our team. These are the team members that we uh, choose. 
uh, I hope you will know every, every one of, of them. So I don't spend so much time in introducing uh, such names. What we are going to do now is watching each of them from our match point of view. So uh, watching each one uh, to verify if is a right solution, a good solution for our problem. Okay, not always this is the case, but as we'll, we can see, uh, this will be the case. Ready to run? Choose your favorite uh, team member, and let's start with IoT Server. IoT Server, these are, uh, this is a list of the main uh, feature of IoT Server. I don't spend so much time in, in showing uh, uh, why IoT Server is one of the best uh, of breed technology for device management. Uh, what I can show you is the result of our trade analysis. If it works. Okay. <laughs> Just to give you, okay, an impression. This is um, a way we use in order to identify if a characteristic is good for us or not. Yellow face, green face, red face. Okay, you don't see any red face just <laughs> because we, uh, we, we, we like uh, WSO2 technology. As you can see, some features of the IoT server are not so important for our problem. They are good for us, for, our, uh, for other problems, but not for our problem. For example, the app management. We don't uh, foresee to uh, device application app for uh, our device, uh, mobile, mobile device. So all the others are absolutely uh, a good uh, feature, good features for our team. So. Okay, IoT server is a part of our team. Let's move to the API manager. The API manager, as you can see, is completely, quite completely uh, uh, good for our solution. Only the part of development community is not so, so important for us because we have a solution that is not open to a community. We handle healthcare projects, so we need to have a, a strict security uh, on our system so we don't let community to implement feature of our solution. But you have more green faces than yellow faces. So absolutely, API manager is one of uh, the member of our team. The same for identity server. You can see that not all the, the features are okay for, for our solution. Uh, the flexibility, pluggability, extendability, temability, and so on is not so important for us, but all the other features are really, really okay. Uh, what I suggest you, every, every time you decided to use a technology, and WSO2 technology in particular, do this trade-off analysis. Analyze which are the characteristics of the product and verify if you are convinced that is a good solution for you. Obviously, identity server, due to the regulations that will appear in, in Europe next year, is absolutely a good solution for, you, for, for us. So identity server is, is hired. Data analytics server, as I said before, we have to analyze in real time data coming from medical devices. So uh, as you can imagine, data analytics is a completely green solution for us. It covers a lot of parts of our problem. So absolutely, Data Analytics is a member of our team. Enterprise Integrator. I said to you before, it's a wide integration challenge. So it's uh, our best defender. Is our uh, Leonardo Bonucci <laughs> for us, if you, if you know Leonardo Bonucci. Enterprise Integrator has Grid features for our problem, grid features. Not all features, but grid features, especially for routing, mediation, and transformation of data. I said before that we have to collect information coming from different devices, uh, handling, heartbeat rate, uh, pressure, so different data. We have to normalize those data in order to create correlation between them. 
So uh, mediation and transformation data is really important for us, so we decided that effectively Enterprise Integrator is a member of our team. Uh, the last one, microservices uh, framework for Java. Absolutely is one of the best of breed microservices framework. I suggest it to you if you have to deploy and develop uh, Java um, um, component of your system. Especially because it's very simple, very simple to develop on it, to deploy solution based on it, and to monitor the behavior of the microservices framework. So absolutely, microservices, your heart. As you can see, all the members of our team are ready to play our, our game. What we have to do now is taking our member, uh, ask him to go on the field, on the pitch, and start to cover all the areas of our reference architecture in order to move to a reference implementation. IoT Server, you can see, is a wide, perfect solution for data collection and data interfaces with medical devices. Enterprise Integrator is perfect for the integration from Felix Home to uh, IT system uh, for medical staff to uh, Felix Home. Data Analytics is our outstanding solution for data analysis and even processing, so we can rise everything that's going wrong using the communication channels showed before. API Manager is a perfect solution for API, API access. Uh, let's consider that here we have a, a strict integration with uh, privacy and security regulations owned by, and as you can see before, uh, the identity server. Microservices framework uh, has been used using Java technology for the implementation of the, of the feature of our system, home caring uh, management, and of the digital twin. Let me spend just a few words about the digital twin. Digital Twin is uh, one of the key concepts of this year. It, it comes from Industry 4.0. Okay, if you can Google uh, Digital Twin, you can see that it's very, very used in, uh, in industry. But it's a concept that can be uh, very, very easily migrated to other domains. We use it uh, in, in healthcare, but you can imagine in your problem, in your solution, a good implementation of a digital twin. Basically, digital twin is a mathematical representation of your system, in this case, uh, Felix and his health. Uh, our mathematical model is fed by the data collection module, so we receive data um, regarding Felix health in real time, we fed our digital twin, and we can analyze the digital twin in order to verify Felix Health and simulate the actions that we want to do on Felix in order to improve his health, and analyzing them from a simulation point of view. So I can prescribe a, a drug and analyze with respect to the digital twin if the effect I will uh, expect effectively appears or not. Last one, but not last one, the identity server covers all the areas of security and privacy. This is the basic scheme of our reference implementation, okay? If we, if we gave a different perspective of our reference implementation, we take the same players and we distribute them on a football pitch. You know the football pitch because you raise your hand, so I know that you uh, know uh, football we can see that each one of them take a position in, in, your, uh, in your pitch. We have a goalkeeper, our back-end implementation uh, based on microservices. We have two defenders, someone who's get information, get balls, and move them outside. For example, that analytics server receives data, analyzes data, and send notification. Enterprise integrator, collect data, normalize data, and send it to uh, external IT system. We have two forwarders, IT server and API manager. API manager is facing uh, medical staff. 
IoT server physical, uh, facing medical devices. So are two uh, forwarder with respect to two defenders. And obviously, identity server is on the wings of our pitch and cross all the other models in order to make them uh, doing the right job in the right way. But, as you can see from this picture, we have two holes in this pitch. Basically, we have a hole in the center of our pitch and a hole in the opposite area. Okay? So, our team is not complete. We have to spend more time in analyzing other opportunities, other tools, in order to cover these two areas. Only at the end of this journey, at the, uh, we can uh, be sure that our solution is completely uh, uh, ready. Okay. At the center of our pitch, we need uh, a number 10. Uh, we need uh, Lionel Messi, we need uh, Francesco Totti, someone else. Choose the one you like. Someone who is able to uh, know in the right way uh, the game module you have in mind and uh, act, uh, guide your team in order to win the game. The solution is obviously the governance registry or the new name that will appear next year. Uh, as you know, I, I uh, suppose you know that uh, currently WSO2 is working on governance registry in order to make a new implementation of a new module uh, taking care of governance but by surveillance. So not only guide but only collecting data and verify if everything is going as expected. Okay, a sort of deming cycle, plan, do, check, act. So they, they are now going the check part and act part. And the last part of our pitch to cover is in, uh, opposite, in the opposite area, at Felix Home. We need uh, something at Felix Home that is able to interact with Felix and his family, that is able to uh, collect more information that um, not cover um, health information collected by medical devices, but uh, get information from uh, Felix's life, what he's doing, uh, how he's doing, what his family is carrying on, and so on. So we need someone, something that is enough agile, enough flexible in order to do this job. Okay? We need a sort of joker running uh, at Felix's home in order to uh, implement what is missing in, in our system. Okay, so let me introduce our Joker. Joker is a, a remote presence device that we implemented in order to uh, have someone uh, directly at Felix home. As you can see, it is enough flexible, enough agile in order to move uh, in, uh, in, in patient's home, at Felix home. It is a completely homemade and open source solution created by my colleague and best friend Giuseppe Joe, that I thank you so much for his huge support to the project and to the, uh, this presentation. Uh, Joker was born a couple of years ago with uh, the construction of a 3D open source printer. Uh, I don't know if you know that uh, 3D printers are open source. You can build your own uh, 3D printer at home. Is, uh, this is the portal uh, containing uh, all the information, all the instruction in order to build your uh, 3D printer. Uh, the, ch the model we choose is a Prusa i3 uh, model. Once we add the 3D printer, we go to Tingiverse, it's a portal of 3D uh, open source uh, printing project. We selected several projects, we integrated all together in order to make all the parts making Joker. So we uh, printed them and assembled the first version of Joker. But Joker was static. Okay, so we gave him intelligence using uh, a couple of Arduino boards and software uh, handling movement and the sense of space. So he has the possibility to watch left and right in order to verify which is the spaces in which he is moving. At last, uh, through the MiArm open source project, 
we gave him the possibility to touch, to uh, have a, a handling uh, feature um, integrated with the older, older robots. So basically, Joker is uh, a remote presence device, is a, another uh, type of device we can integrate, we can interface using the IoT server. Um, basically, it, is, uh, it implements the uh, medical eyes, the medical ears, the medical voice, the medical uh, fingers. Okay, we played our match. I suppose we win our match. But now we want to play more matches. We, uh, basically, we want to do a championship, not, we are not uh, satisfied about only one match. So what we are going to do now? What are the next steps we are going to do? Uh, engage people, engage users, engage uh, specialists from uh, healthcare domains in order to have more uh, feedbacks for our activity and analyses which are the um, um, thread parts that we have to improve and the things that we have to do better with respect to our current implementation. We want to uh, integrate more technology in it. So, for example, more medical devices, more wearables, because we only collect information from medical devices, but we can uh, use uh, bandwidth, smart bands, wearables, in order to get information about the movement, the exercise that our uh, patient does, and uh, other information like this. We want to imp uh, improve uh, our digital twin, the simulation, the analytical model of uh, Felix uh, in our system. And we want to introduce more um, in intelligence in our early warning score models. Early warning score is the model that is used in order to verify if the situation is OK or not, so uh, how we can intercept a strange situation uh, just before they arise. Because probably the blood pressure and the heart rate are quite okay, but put them together, there's something that's going wrong in, in the next future. So we can we give the possibility to the medical staff to act as soon as possible in order to fix the problem. From WSO2 point of view, what we will going to do is using Ballerina as a, a, a reference implementation and implementation language for our solution. Now we're using Java. We want to experiment uh, Ballerina as well. We want to extend the cloudification of our, of our solution. Now only few parts are uh, in the cloud, but we want to uh, put them in the cloud, basically because uh, this is uh, our uh, perspective. We want to share this uh, solution to several, um, several patients and several operators, and obviously move to multi-tenancy. And that's all. I, I suppose that it was a good match for us. Uh, I, I suppose we, we win our match, and I hope you, you will win your match too. Any question? Yeah. Okay. Um, what you've seen is a, a, a certain number of POC that we produce in order to uh, give more confidence on WSO2 technology. But some part of these systems are currently in production uh, on uh, an Italian hospital. Basically, uh, the part of IoT uh, server, IoT uh, interfaces with medical devices, is part of our product, uh, ICU product. ICU stands for uh, Intensive Care Unit. So we're collecting data from intensive care devices and uh, moving uh, this information inside our system. We have uh, created the um, custom interfaces with these medical devices. We are now in charge of uh, performing the uh, CE certification of our piece of software because when you interface medical devices, you, have, you need a, a CE uh, certification. So what we are going to do is certificating this custom implementation, but probably will not enough. 
we have to spend more time with WSO2 in order to give, uh, uh, to, to receive support from them in order to certify CE also the component of WSO2 we use it uh, to interface our devices. Uh, the, the, the second one. Okay. We are watching at the second one. <laughs> we are watching now at the second one option. <laughs> Any other question? You're thinking about your sport? Cricket? <laughs> Rugby? I know that in, in Sri Lanka, cricket is the, the, the main sport. So probably uh, you have to change uh, this approach uh, according to your, your, funny, uh, your funny sports. So a question. We have digital twin for the, for the patient. Okay, we have a, a collaboration with IBM uh, using Watson as a, um, an, a, a reference implementation for Digital Twin. So we are implementing inside our system some parts of the um, uh, health, health uh, patient modeling in order to analyze the situation. We want to introduce in this uh, uh, model the simulation part. The simulation part basically is an integration now with IBM Watson, but what we want to do is to move some part of the simulation in order to agree better uh, on requirements coming from medical staff we are interfacing now. Okay. So I, I thank you so much. Bye.